Hello and thank you so much for joining me for yet another moment of Private Transformation Minutes. This is Dala Alfonso and um, I am so excited to um, be with you again, you know, to discuss our topic that we're um, reviewing this week, which are the elements or the critical elements for success. Now, during the course of this week, we identified three key elements that I said were important for, your, for us to pay attention to. And the first was pain, the second was embarrassment, and the third was discomfort. Now, it's easy for us to understand you know, why discomfort is something we need to pay attention to because we need to be moved out of our comfort zone in order for us to grow. You know, we can understand that we don't want to place ourselves in an embarrassing situation that will prevent us, you know, from um, accomplishing our life's goals, or our dreams, because we feel that once we have that stigma on top of us, it'd be hard for us to, to go forward. But many people had a problem <laughs> with pain, which in fact happens to be the one of the critical elements that you cannot even do without. It doesn't matter what you do in life, pain must be a part of your success story. Now, let me take a step back. We identified or defined pain as um, an uncomfortable feeling that serves as an indicator or as an alert system to, to, to help us understand that something is wrong. And I gave this analogy that can you imagine what life would be like if there was no pain, if there was no alert system where you can just run down the street and just rip your foot against a stone and blood and everything will be gashing and splitting all over the place and you can't feel it, you just keep going. You know, uh, can you imagine what life would be like? That would mean that even when you're sick, you will not even know it until you just fall down and it's all over. So pain serves a very important purpose and it's very important part of helping us stay on top of our game. So it doesn't matter if it is your physical body, your business, your education, or whatever it is, what kind of project it is that you're working on, pain in itself is integrated into everything we do and serves as a change agent, as something that triggers our minds to reevaluate our situation and realize that something needs to change. So let's talk a little bit about pain here. Now the pain I'm talking about is not the kind of panging, you know, hurting pain that makes you just want to curl up in the ball and cry out to your mama. That's not the kind of pain I'm talking about. Now that pain has a place to play. It comes into play when you refuse to pay attention to the little signs that tells you something needs to change. Now, if you don't pay attention to little degrees of pain that is, that is warning you or pointing you to the fact that something needs to change, it is only a matter of time that you have to deal with that type of pain that I'm talking about. But that is not what I'm referring to at this point. What I am referring to by the kind of pain you should embrace is a pain that I want to call voluntary pain. There is voluntary pain which you can embrace, you can coordinate, you can put in place, or you can accept the involuntary pain that can come as a result of your failing to pay attention to those warning signs. Let me give you an example. If you don't pay attention to how you take care of your body, let's say you eat whatever you want to eat, you drink whatever you want to drink, you party, you do anything that you want to do without paying attention to what your body really needs. It's only a matter of time that your body begins to tell you signs and give you indications that something is not right. It could start with a hangover, a headache, a migraine, you know, some symptoms or something that will require you to pay attention. And if you do not pay attention to those things, it's only a matter of time that something um, catastrophic or something bad would happen that may even cost you your life in itself or may even cost you thousands and thousands of dollars just for you to get proper treatment. Now, but how can you avoid that? But you can change your story. For instance, your body needs oxygen. You can oxygenate you can oxygenate your body by exercise. You can cut down the level of acidity in your body by trying to create a more alkaline platform for yourself. I mean, how do you do that? 
by introducing pain. What am I talking about? You decide to work out. You decide to exercise. You decide to push yourself the extra mile. Now tell me something. There's, I, don't, I haven't met anybody except some of those folks in the gym who I think there's something, maybe I'm not sure there's something wrong with them, but they love what they do. They just like to push themselves. And so they have so much pleasure when they push people like us that don't enjoy it. Okay. So when you go to the gym and you're being pushed to go that extra mile, to push in that last effort to go all out it is intended to allow you embrace a measure or a degree of pain so that your body will not collapse under the pressures that may come from lack of exercise from lack of you taking care of it from stress and everything else so you're embracing a degree of pain in order to avoid a larger bulk of pain that could come as a result of you not exercising now think about it again Let's take your business for instance. If you don't pay attention to disciplining yourself, you know, let's say there's, uh, there, there are times where, you know, a, a little expense comes that you know you can just take care of now. You know, somebody says, oh, you need to pay your light bill. You know, it's just like, oh no, we don't want to worry about that right now. At this point, it may be an inconvenience because when you look at your books, it doesn't have enough room for you to pay X amount of dollars or whatever your local currency is towards utility bills. But you may decide to say, no, we can't deal with that right now. And you keep doing that and you just want to focus on what you're doing. You see, you're refusing to inconvenience yourself at this point to meet a specific need. But guess what? You may be in the middle of the biggest project of your life and that is when they may decide to just turn off your power and guess what you may have to pay extra in order for them to come and restore that power back and maybe they may not even do it at the time that you want and it may cause you to miss that deadline uh, are you following what I'm saying? In essence, when I'm talking about pain, I am not saying that we should embrace any type of pain. I'm simply saying that we can choose to embrace a degree of pain in order for us to attain our life's goals. Essentially, in anything you want to do, in any undertaking in life, there is always a degree of pain that is required. That pain could come in the form of sacrifices. That pain could come in the form of discipline. That pain could come in the form of some sleepless nights. That pain can even come in the form of choosing to go hungry for a few days. That pain may come in the form of letting go of your pride and just you know accepting you know to let go of something selling your car so that you can have capital to do your business that pain could come in the form of mockery it could come in the form of anything but what i'm saying is essentially is that pain can come in any kind of cover but you must be willing to recognize it you must be willing to accept it embrace it and run with it keeping your eyes fixed on where you're going ultimately. Otherwise, you may enjoy the pleasures of right now temporarily and ultimately be forced to accept a greater degree of pain down the road that you did not bargain for. And the thing about involuntary pain is that you cannot choose how, when, or where it comes. When it comes, I'm sorry, you just have to deal with it. So when we talk about pain, we're not talking about suffering in itself. We're talking about making a concerted decision to apply yourself to a degree of pain in whatever capacity that might be so that you can be able to receive the rewards that you've been working for and also avoiding a bigger pain in the future. So I hope that makes sense. But if it doesn't, I will be more than happy to discuss this topic even a whole lot further. So thank you so much once again for joining me for another moment of Private Transformation Minutes. And I hope that this message has been um, helpful to you. And if it has, then please share it on your timeline, share it on your social media platforms and let people know what is going on. And our goal is to help you become transformed one person at a time by addressing those personal intimate issues 
that a lot of us would otherwise want to look the other way from. So thank you once again and be sure to check out our page on Facebook, Private Transformation Network. Be sure to like the page and be sure to share it with all your friends. So thank you and I look forward to another moment with you on Private Transformation Minutes. Have a good day.